All right, Monday Night Football. Let's get into this one. The Vikings at the Bears. Bears are a three-and-a-half-point dog, total of 44 here. The Bears are 6-2 and two against the spread, their last eight against the Vikings. However, looking just at this season, Bears are 1-6 and six against the spread, their last seven as a dog. Uh, the Vikings are 2-9 and nine in their last 11 as a favorite. There is a, there's no single betting trend that goes in favor of anybody in this situation. So that is when I it, make sure that I certainly turn back to the numbers, uh, which I do on pretty much every matchup anyway. But in this situation here, the Bears have been kind of putrid. Like they are, it, it is full on go with the Justin Fields project unless he gets hurt, right? And last week, everything looked good in the first half and whatnot until late second quarter and then third quarter, and that was that was ball game. That was all she wrote. The Minnesota Vikings, for as blah as their record is, this team is actually really good when it comes to the numbers. Like, their offense is number 11 in total DVOA. Chicago's defense is number 24. Minnesota's defense is number 19. Chicago's offense is number 26. Uh, overall DVOA, Minnesota is the number 12 most efficient team in the National Football League. Chicago is down at number 26. I don't think it's enough points here. I think Minnesota is going to win this by at least a touchdown. So I will take the Vikings minus three and a half, even on the road on Monday Night Football. We completely agree with this. This is one of those where I, I was curious where you were going to go. I think Dalvin Cook's going to be back. I think Dalvin Cook's going to play, and I think he is what makes that Vikings offense go. Yes. I also just don't know how to explain how bad the Bears look on offense. I it's, mean, they even even I mean the way they score points is on special teams, and defense puts them in in scoring positions, but they are. They are bad. Yes. They're real bad. Yes, they are. I mean, it's it is putrid. It's it's so unbelievable uh to watch this team. And they I mean, they did pretty good last week. They put up 30 points. And yet the defense gave up 45. They got up like they well, they they got up quick. They got a couple of, you know, really good possessions. They got a punt uh, a return touchdown. Team. Yeah. They got a punt return touchdown and they got a couple of punt return and kickoffs to get them like short fields. Yes. I don't think they'll do that against uh, Against Minnesota, oh, I Minnesota's don't special teams uh, number six in total DVOA. Like they're they're a pretty good special teams unit. Uh, the Packers, by the way, not so. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm I'm definitely rolling Vikings. You're doing the same. This whole the Matt Nagy stuff. It, it's not it's not that. I, obviously, everybody expects him to be fired at the end of the season. This Ryan Day stuff will not go away. I am shocked at this. Like he brought in Jim Knowles as the defense coordinator. And yet, even though it, 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 it people try and poo-poo on it all the time, it ain't going away. People are still talking about it. People that are in the know, like, really seem to believe this might happen. You, uh, do you see any world where he might take the job? Well, yeah, I don't. Why does the Jim Knowles thing have anything to do with that? Like, you don't know that that's going to be your job until paperwork is signed. So you have to continue to do the job you're doing. You don't have a defensive coordinator. You need a defensive coordinator. you got to go hire the best coordinator you can get. How is that complicated for anybody? I just well, he find wouldn't it. have hired Jim Knowles if he knew he was going to take this other job. Bullshit. <laughs> Why wouldn't he have? What would you have done if you were in his position, but you didn't know that you had this other job guaranteed to you, but yeah. you knew you were a candidate for it? You're just going to stop doing the job you got? Let somebody else hire Knowles? That's a, okay. You got a valid point. You got a very valid point. I just like, I, don't, I, I don't understand this. We 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 do this with coaches all the time, right? Like we criticize Brian Kelly because he got the text that he was he was in a recruit's house when he got notified that he was going to be the LSU guys. They came to the deal. They yeah. agreed to whatever they agreed to. And people were like, oh, and he stayed and finished the recruiting visit. Yeah, and that kid committed to Notre Dame. How are Notre Dame people upset about this? Why would anybody <laughs> be mad about that? Like, he just got you a player. What would have been shitty of him is if he said, damn, I network for LSU. Hey, you know, man, Notre Dame's tough. It's going to be a hard place to win. Winners are rough. You might want to look at schools a little closer to the equator. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that would have been shitty of him. Agreed. But people, 
People ripped him for staying and continuing the visit with a guy that he wasn't going to coach. But that kid ended up picking Notre Dame after Brian Kelly left. Yeah. So he obviously was a really good ambassador for the school, even up to the point and after the point where he knew he wasn't going to be the coach. I just don't know how you can be angry about that. But I'm not angry at him for hiring Jim Knowles. I'm I'm shocked at at the fact that this won't go away. And none of this, like, obviously, we don't know that this is actually going to happen. But it's still, I mean, it's still being talked about quite a bit. So, Ryan Day to, to the Bears, still a possibility. Won't go away. News still out there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.